Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today's video is actually quite exciting. I've started off with my base and lips already done. I have primed my eyelids is because today's video is me testing out the Carnival, e Carnival 3 Love Tahiti Ecstasy Maroon palette with the Perfect. I do have the second palette and I do absolutely adore it. So hopefully I love this as much as I love my second one. So first thing we're gonna do is just blend out these creases where I've left the primer for a bit too long. I'm just gonna blend that out a bit. I am gonna be doing one eye off camera and one eye on camera just to kind of save some time so then this video isn't an hour long. Now my hair is out of my face, let's get in to this video. So my favourite colours in this palette is definitely this blue section and like the corals because I'm not gonna lie, I don't have like a palette that has these colours in. So I was very excited. First thing first, I'm going to get my brushes and we are going to grab a brush. I'm just going to wonder half the time. I'm going to go in with this brush, which is from the Morphe Jeffree Star collection brush set. And the first colour I'm going to go in with is Forest. So I'm going to just pack that onto my brush. Get quite a bit on there. There's like zero to none fallout, like in the pan. Like it's still there, but the pigment's on the brush. Oh, dang. So I'm going to put the shade forest into my inner part of my eye and we're just gonna put it like only halfway and we're just gonna blend that in the pigmentation of this already is honestly to die for like i just put that on there and it has stuck for anyone wondering what i use this eye primer I actually use the Excess Revolution concealer because it's actually really sticky and I quite like it and it kind of works really well. I've been using it recently and I really like it. Now that colour is down, I'm going with the same brush and I'm going to be going in with the shade Bamboo. We're just going to coat that onto my brush, tap off the excess because there is a little bit of fallout with the shade but that doesn't really matter. So. We are going to be blending this on top of the shade of Forest. Okay, so now that is all blended, to be that blended so effortlessly, I'm going to be going in with black on this part of my eye and just bringing it all the way around to here and then we're using purples and pinks to extend the eye. We want to use as many colours on this palette as possible so that is the reason why I'm doing this. So the next shade I'm going to be going into is Black Beach which is the black shade in the palette. Oh, oh my this is pigmented. This might be more pigmented than the um, second palette. <laughs> I've got fallout on my face but we can just brush that off hopefully. This is a big fluffy brush that came off quite easily, which is pretty good. This is so pigmented. I do find with the second palette that I do have to proper scrape my brush into the black. That sometimes I don't end up using the black from that palette. I do end up using the Morphe Maddie Xavier palette for the black because I do enjoy that black from there because it's very pigmented and it blends out very well. Yeah. I just want to blend that green into the black a bit, so I'm going to go back in with that brush that we had before with no product on and we're just gonna blend that in just to kind of bring it all together. I'm going to be going in with another one of the Jeffree Star palette brushes from Morphe. This is the JS10 and it's kind of like a small packer brush that I'm just gonna grab a shade. I think we're gonna go in with Blackberry. I'm just gonna pop that onto the brush. There's no fallout with this shade. I feel like with the deeper shades, there is no fallout. I feel like it's just going straight onto the brush, which is pretty good. It means that I won't get fallout all over my face, which is very good for me because we've already done our face. I usually don't, but I was pre-filming right now. So yeah, we are going to be going over the edges of the black with this purple. Just kind of go around it and just place the product down first. I don't want to blend it out just yet because I don't want to disturb the black 
because I do want it very like dark there. Add a bit more of the shade Blackberry. And now we're just gonna slightly taper over the edges. Oh my God, these shades are so easy to blend. I'm shocked. I may sound like a stuck record, but when something's good, we have to give it appreciation. The next color I am going to be using is Fruity, which is the shade next to that tiny bit of pickup, but nothing too much. So we are now going to go over the edges of the shade Blackberry with this brush. It's kind of like a fluffier, kind of more practical brush, but I like this to blend. So we're going to go over it. Oh damn, she tickled it. Starting to wing this shade out. That's how the eye is looking right now. I just kind of want to go between these two colours here. Kind of get them to blend a bit. I know green and purple won't blend, but I can at least make it seem like it is. Now using the same brush, I am going to go in with the shade Pink Lily, which is the shade up here. I'm just going to go over the edges, bringing that colour more out towards the temple of a matte uh, blending that out as much as I can. Next, I want to go in with the like coral shades and like the oranges. I just kind of want to blow it out a lot more. I want to have fun with this, so I'm going to go in with this pre-stained brush I have stained many times. Um, it is the Morphe Jeffree Star JS5 brush, it's just a big fluffy brush, and I'm going to go in with the shade, I want to go in with the shade Hibiscus. I feel like this shade is just beautiful. I might just turn into like a pink on the outside, and use coral on the lid. We don't know what we're doing right now, okay? So I just want to blend that up and through. We're just blending the life of God. Okay, that looks stunning. There's a slight little pink shade that's right next to it called Bear, which I kind of just want to blend this out with and then just kind of do some fun little bits on the lid. So I'm going to in with the yes the same brush because i don't know i feel like the colors blend a lot better sometimes when we use the same brushes i do kind of clean them i like tap off all the excess of the shadow but still just want to blend the boots out and up into here yeah. so that is the beginning part of the eye i am now going to go off camera and cut my crease i am now back with my crease for cut and primed for the eyeshadow to go on top so i want to layer coral and mango on my lid to layer these colors i'm gonna need a small packer brush which i am now going to find the brush i'm going to use is the collab brush with sweetie and morphe it comes with the bag and it's a small packer brush I'm first of all going to go in with coral and I want that in my inner like portion of the lid so there we go. Look at that. Oh my god. I think I might prefer this palette to the second one. I am going to brush off the excess because of the so it does have a little bit of fallout, but that does happen with like high pigmented shades, so it doesn't really matter. I'm next going to go in with the same brush, but I'm going to be going in with the shade Mango. And I want that on the outer portion. And yes again, pigment. I'm gonna blend these two shades together. The slightest little wiggle movement. So that is the shades all packed on. Honestly, I'm in love. I'm going to go off 
camera, I'm going to do the other eye and I'm also going to be popping on a pair of lashes. I will show you the lashes when I'm back. Now both eyes are done, I did add some lashes. I do want to add some finishing touches to the eye, but the lashes I did use is the Adol Beauty Tara Lash and they're great for like looks like this. They're long, voluptuous, and I really like them. But the final thing I want to do, I want to grab a, a packer brush, like a very small packer brush, and I want to put Tahiti Green into my inner corner. Tahiti Green is this green shade here, and I feel like the eyeshadow is just missing it. So we're gonna add that into my inner corner, and then add a bit of brow bone highlight, and then we will be done. That is so cute. Okay, and then the other eye. I just feel like this ties in the whole look all together. And on my brow bone, I do actually want to go in with one of the pink shimmer shades. I think I want to go in with Pearl, which is a very like light pink shimmer shade. It is this one right here. Let me go onto my brush, and I feel like I just want that on my brow bone. Let's do. It. I feel like the Tahiti Green was very much more pigmented, but because this is a very subtle shade, it will come out like this, and that's okay. So, that is it, guys. That is the eyes done using the Be Perfect Cosmetics Stacey Marie Carnival 3 palette Love Tahiti. My personal views I think, yes, it is definitely worth $36.95. That's what it retails for on Be Perfect, and it also retails $36.95 on beauty bay if you want me to drop the link down below i will do just in case you want to purchase this i feel like the pigmentation in this palette is absolutely amazing i feel that they blend effortlessly you can create such amazing eye looks i'm honestly in love with this and this is definitely going to be used in nearly every one of my makeup looks coming up on my instagram as well as on my youtube channel hope you enjoyed this video my social media links will be left down below any important information like the palette and where to get it from and everything else thank you guys for watching please like and subscribe to my channel and hopefully i will see more of you guys coming to join me on this journey that i have only just started and i can't wait to grow with you guys bye